Hey campers, welcome to another exciting week of art camp. Um, I'm Miss Mackenzie, if you don't know me, and today's project is going to be a little birdhouse. So it's a, uh, you, you have a kit with the birdhouse in it, some paper, some yarn, and some buttons. So this video will explain how we're gonna put it all together. All right, so the first thing that you're going to do is make your water and glue mixture. Part water, part glue, so half and half. I would have somebody maybe help you with it if you need help, and you're going to mix, mix, mix. You're also going to have a template. There are two different kinds. One has a square, the other one has a circle. I have the square one. I do not have the circle. Also, something specific with the circle birdhouse is you're gonna notice that mine does not have a place for a bird to sit. The circle birdhouse does. If you have a birdhouse with a circle, you're going to have to do something special for when you add the paper to that area. Now I'm going through and I am cutting out all of those templates. Then I'm taking a pencil and I am applying a lot of pressure to make the pencil lines dark and I am going just over the template lines. It's actually easier if you put the paper up to a window and use it like a light box. And I will show you in a second why we are doing this, which is pretty cool why. You take paper and look, some of the paper is different on different sides. There's a polka dot and ice cream. I want to use the ice cream, so the back of that paper would be the polka dot. I am taking a pen, you can take a colored pencil, whatever you want, and add pressure and just trace those lines. And then, I don't know if you can see this super well, but you should be able to see, yeah, you can kind of see that square right there. Um, there's an outline that rubbed off from that pencil that you colored in. And then you just cut it out by following the pencil lines that you made. And then the inside square, you're gonna take a pencil or pen and you're gonna poke a hole right in the middle and then use scissors to kind of stick your scissors in there and cut out that square. And actually, that is what you will be doing for that little that little stand that is on some of your birdhouses, that little dowel. You're just gonna poke a hole and when you put it on the front like that, like I'm doing right now, you're just going to kind of push and um, the dowel should stick out from the paper. Now I'm taking my glue mixture and I'm just gluing it on. And then I do the same thing for the rest of the pieces. Now if you look, some of those papers say times two, like the roof, you are going to trace the roof two times and you're going to trace the sides two times. But to save paper, we only printed it one time. So I'm going to go ahead and that piece of paper, put it on there once. So this is the side piece. So I put it down and now I'm going to pick it up and I can see, I don't know if you can see on the, the screen, but I can see the outline and then I do it again. And then I cut those two side pieces out and I glue them on and I do that for the rest of the birdhouse. If you look in your envelope now, you can see a little bag of goodies. We have some yarn and some buttons. And I'm gonna go and uh, cut a couple of the other pieces of paper. And now it's decoration time. You can do whatever you want. You can use hot glue, you can use regular Elmer's glue to glue on the yarn and the buttons and the extra pieces of paper to decorate your birdhouse and make it completely you and original. And if you look, this is what my birdhouse looks like when it's done. And I cannot wait to see your guys' birdhouses. Bye!